What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Hawkeye from the Avengers. So, his head is kind of over to the right hand side. By the way, landscape page, pencil and eraser, sketch it out lightly, right? And hit pause when I go too fast, right? Okay, so the ruler will come in handy for his string and his bow, right? So that the arrow going this way, right? So, I think I'll draw that first. This goes into his fingers, so we don't see the end of it. It's like it stops here somewhere. Okay. So I'm doing this first because I want to get, you know, give you an idea of the scale, right? So here to here is his, is his arrow, right? And then the quills for this sort of, you know, those feather like parts. around to there and you can add maybe some actual texture on that you know just to show like so now so the tip so we'll, we'll give it a pointy sort of tip like this just a basic one it's not you know like that right <clears throat> so that means his uh, the bow sort of goes in behind his fingers and the string that goes up behind his face, right? So his nose is like right above this, right? To get his head sort of in the right place. But what I'll do first, we'll draw his, we'll draw his hand. So complicated poses like this, you gotta like think on the fly. And he's got this archer's glove or something on here. Yeah, so let's go. So we'll just curve this around here, right? And then this goes in, and it'll go straight back. So this is his hand now. So like here, and then we'll bring it back this way, and it kind of curves down. And it has like some edge lines and texture and stuff on it. Right, like so. And he's three of these, right? So they, there are three of them that come down like this. And they're on his hand. <clears throat> so this one kind of comes down, touches that one. Around to there. Then we got another one, comes down here. Into there, and we can see the next one. So he's like cup around his fingers. There. <clears throat> This one will go back. Like so. This that goes up. Up to there and then back to there. And texture lines and stitching lines and things on this. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we can see some like um, knuckle lines and stuff inside here for his fingers, right? This kind of stuff. Because his hand is in under here. And like the top of his finger comes out of here. Right, and then his little finger sticks out down here. Round. And goes up. So hands can be quite tricky now, so take your time. Especially hands that you can't see what's going on. Finger lines there. <clears throat> like so. 
so. Right, and then he's got a leather strap on his wrist, so it comes out here. Down. So there. And this goes down, around. His wrist here. Around to there. And these will have like edges on them. So then, so his actual arm line comes out from this and up this way. So this is like his forearm and around, and then his elbow line there. And this kind of curves around here. And then we'll have is like bicep and tricep coming down here. <clears throat> so that's like his armpit. And then the forearm. Go on this way. Me. So just some like arm lines there. Right, and then so like bicep sort of area here. And there's armpit line sort of there. And then his back comes down there. He's got some like veins on his arm. There. Okay, right. So that's his arm holding the bow. Okay. So his head then is in here, right? So we'll, we'll start with his nose, right? Because he's kind of in profile. So his nose comes out. You kind of start with this letter L sort of shape. So, and then we've got a nostril, and then the back of the nostril here. So, his mouth just below, so it goes up and then up and back there. And then his bottom lip kind of just curves around that up into there and then the top lip curves around there and the side of his face it sticks out here so it goes down like so and then hanging on the other side of his nose somewhere like here His face that way. So he's got glasses on up here. So they go around. <clears throat> Back like that. Up to here. And this will go this way. These will go eventually behind his ear, so his ear is like here. Okay, so that's the top of the glasses, and then it comes out from his ear, across, and then around. 
round of the top. So, and then where they kind of connect, there's a line and then another sort of inside area. So, so one here, bit there, and then around to there. Keep them a bit of a circle here. Right, and then they kind of dip up. They go around to the other side, down, in, to there, and then like so. And then some lines to the other side of that. And then this kind of has a line that goes that way, goes around the glasses. So, and then we can just see like his jaw coming down from his ear. Just there. And there's a bit of a cheekbone line or something, like so. And then the line for the inside of his ear, just here. Ear lines. A bit of a shadow in there. that right so then his forehead will come out from behind the glasses so just here up around into there and then he ha he'll have some sort of frowning lines like some wrinkles just to show that and then his sideburns just here and then his hairline zigzags kind of around this way Right, so then hair, sort of spiking up here, maybe like some layers to it, it just sticks up like this, and eventually it starts to go around his head, right, so all these short sort of zigzag sort of things, come around this way. down the back of his head and some on the top as well, some texture. Like so, and then this will come around the back of his head and then his neck, just there. And then we'll have sort of a neck muscle line or something here. Okay, right, so we'll try and get his body sort of done down here. So the back of his body comes down this way. The front, so we've got like straps and all this kind of stuff, but we'll just go like this. And he has all these patches, right? So. There, that's another one, another 
line coming across here and in. On the inside, and there's like a circular shape here. <clears throat> and there's like a zip and a strap, so strap comes underneath that around his body. And then goes back up. And then there's another chest plate here. Which goes up around his arm there. It has an edge line to it. But there's some edge to this strap as well. Or stitching or something. <clears throat> and then like another one on there. And then goes out that way. Like so, and then he's got a zipper or something that comes right down the middle. Up here. I think the easiest way is to just do this kind of zigzag and then just a darker edge just to show that's kind of thick <clears throat> right and then this shape that comes down this way then comes around his body down to here it's like a different color this comes around yeah that goes down there and then another one goes up here like you can break this armor up in a million different ways, but we'll just sort of keep it basic there. And then this has another one there and some extra lines like that. And maybe something else here, maybe like a box or a plastic strap or something. Give this an edge. And right, so his shoulder comes out underneath this quiver. So it like bumps kind of for his sleeveless section, right? And this is all lines going that way. And then it goes around here. See, it goes up underneath his armpit somewhere here. This will have an edge. And then another sort of section there. <coughs> that comes around and up. Line down that way. And then just add another section there. And then this has like lines coming across. Another strap here. And then we give this an edge. Like that. So that's like his armpit. I'll just thicken up these edges a little bit just to make them stand out from the rest <clears throat> so now the other arm that goes out this way so shoulder here bicep goes up cross down into the forearm My inside line for the bicep is about here, goes back into the chest, which goes down that way. 
<coughs> tricep underneath so the tricep comes out from the armpit so it goes out down up and then around into there so that's his armpit one yeah and it could be like another sort of armpit one there <coughs> forearm up down down towards his wrist sticks out there That's the bicep, <clears throat> and then forearm then goes this way, so the other part of it sort of sticks out, goes up like so. And then you should have like maybe some, so the bicep goes into the forearm, and then you'll have maybe a forearm line going that way, something on here. And then like some wrist bones here. He's got all this strapping around his arm as well. So we'll just draw some of that. So curves around. All right, like that. And then maybe one more. Like so. So he's holding his bow here, right? So we've got his hand kind of bumps around here. We've got this W sort of shape for the hand, right? It kind of starts here. And then this will go around to his thumb, it goes up this way. And then this curves around here to there. And then you could have like the thumbnail just up top. Make some palm of his hand lines or something here. So fingers come out the other side of that. So Say we just go out, down, round, around the tip of his finger, and then that goes around the back there, and you'll have like a fingernail there. Then the top knuckles, have the other fingers just there, and then this comes around. <coughs> like so little finger just there and then you just add fingernails the knuckle lines and stuff <clears throat> it's kind of like that <clears throat> Another line going down the middle of these straps. Right, and then his actual bow, right? So this will go this way. Down off my page, really big. And it'll go, it's got a barrel here like a sighting section or something. It's got all these curve lines around them. Then it'll go up like so. And then around. And then eventually curve off my page back there. And then the other side comes in out bumping it a couple of times there and then down like that and then this side same sort of thing handle you got these bumps and then down that way and then some details inside so it's a metallic object so lines like th like this sort of holes in it 
do is like this circle thing up here. I'm sure all these things have names, but I have no idea about bows or anything like that. And then another sort of hole inside here. This goes off that way. I might give them some edges. Just an angle around this edge here. There's like a grip or something here. An edge on it, so like we'll add just like grip lines. So like just these cross lines there and then go on the other way. Like so. <clears throat> All right, and then more gaps inside the bow. A circle here, and then this goes down this way. Circle here, get these things edges. Maybe some like texture, some scratches and things. texture on these some dots and <clears throat> so just adding all this kind of stuff and giving a vein on his bicep again okay so now string right coming out from here you go up to the top of the, the bow like, so the top of the bow is way off my page, right? So we're just going to do a string coming out from his hand, really, because that's where it comes from. So see from here. Right up. Off that way. And then we'll do the same thing going down here. Say it's yeah here. Just kind of guessing, but I'd say it's there. <laughs> right, like that. And then the last thing we have to do is the the where he holds his arrows, just this kind of box on his back. That's what this strap is holding. <laughs> And then you like just thicken up some parts, some edge lines. And if you want, you can color the shades and you can leave like a highlight or something in them. Something like that. But I think I'll have to leave it there. It's a pretty complicated one, I know. Hope it's helpful anyway. Hope it helps someone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.